There is a very close relationship between intelligence and working memory. Intelligence is about effectively using information and working memory is about storing information and making it available. When we look at intelligence from a working memory perspective, we see that there is a difference between intelligence capacity and realized intelligence. Intelligence capacity is the maximum level of intelligence that you, for example, can achieve in a traditional intelligence test that you take in a restricted environment where you can focus all your working memory resources on this intelligence task. Realized intelligence, in contrast, is the level of intelligence that you achieve in real-world settings where you have to cope with multiple demands such as multitasking or you have to engage in conversations, you have to take phone calls, you're under stress. All these factors are depleting your available working memory resources and therefore reduce the amount of cognitive resources that you have available to focus on the intelligence task. The interesting thing about intelligence capacity and realized intelligence is that people differ in these two kind of categories. Some people are better able to deal with multiple cognitive demands than other people. And people who traditionally perform best in terms of intelligence capacity, that is those people who perform best in intelligence tests, are not typically the same people who perform best in terms of realized intelligence. An important implication of our research is this distinction between intelligence capacity and realized intelligence and employers need to think about what kind of intelligence they need for a certain position. So for some positions, for example, where people are working in restricted environments like researchers, you probably want to have somebody with a high level of intelligence capacity. However, for other positions such as managerial positions where people have to cope with multiple demands at the same time, you may want to have people with high levels of realized intelligence. And depending on this, firms should choose one or another intelligence test that we are proposing in our research.